Hi, I'm Naid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how mirroring work with animations in Unreal Engine 5. It's easy and it's fun to do, right? So for example, you can see it use its right hand and when I check this, it go to the left hand. So no, it's uh, he is left handed or is she left -handed? I don't know. So that is what we want to do in this video. I'm going to show you every detail about it. So without any further ado, Let's begin. Before we begin, I want to thank my Patreon supporter. They helped me to create all these videos. Thank you very much. And please, 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 if you want to help me and you like these videos, hit that like button. It helps me a lot. You remember from last video what we have done. We first download some character and we rig it in Blender manually and we retarget all the animation in Anime Starter Pack or all the animation that came with Mannequin and retargeted for our dragon and we use all of those animations so let me again show you the retargeter so in here you can see whichever i want from this mannequin i just can click on it and it will show us that animation and i did show you how you can export all of this animation but this time i want to show you how you can export all of them automatically right if you didn't watch my video about how you can retarget your animation um, to use other animation on internet just watch it you know it you know you will learn a lot so first so this is the folder that we uh, add IK rig and we create our IK retargeter, right? And in here I did create a folder, so we want to save all of our animation in this folder. So we know our dragon uh, has a IK rig and it has an IK retargeter and it has some animation, right? So now I want to export all of this animation to that folder. Just click on one of these, hit Control A to select everything, and after that export selected animations. And in here I did save it in the developers the developers folder in here in folder 4 and in here in animations okay hit okay so it will export all those animations for our custom character right so let's just go to animation and you can see all the animations are here and they are look beautiful we can just close this now we have all of this animation and they are working fine because retargeting in Arial engine is a lot cool and it's powerful so for saving them control shift s to save everything and we can just open up open them and watch it you can see it's cool right so now i want to show you how you can mirror this animation so for example let me open one of them um, for example this one in this animation he or she is right-handed and we want it converted to the left-handed right so maybe they want to uh, shoot their weapon like this or they want to do it like this right so i think there is something like this in ghost recon game and uh, i didn't like that so some people are left-handed and maybe they are uh, more comfortable with the left-handed right so what i'm gonna do again i'm gonna go to this um, folder that or a skeleton and a skeletal mesh is in here and in here first of all you should right click go to animation and in here click on mirror data table okay just click on it and it will tell you which skeletal mesh you want to mirror right so click on dragon skeleton because this is our character right hit accept and you can name it mirror data table mdt dragon okay double click on it to open it i want to dock it over here and i will show you everything in here you remember when we when we try to rig our character what we have done let me open it so we can see there is a root pelvis a spine one a spine two a spine three and clavicle l and this l i told you that is important and for this mirroring animation this l is a lot important okay so always sh you should have this L, okay? Maybe you use dot L, that is okay. If you use um, whatever, just L in left side and R in right side, it will work with this mirror and it's easy to do. If you, in here, you can see in data table, it says that the root, the root, the name of that is root and mirrored is root because a root uh, is doesn't have sides right the pelvis as well a spine as well but in this clavicle l the clavicle l when you want to mirror it will be clavicle r the upper arm l it will be upper arm r so like that upper arm l 
when you mirror it will be upper arm r okay and you can see it it automatically do everything for you and you don't need to do anything because it did automatic job for you but if you want to add another thing in here you can right click in here and insert new row in here to tell it to mirror this one as well right but it did a good job for you you don't need to change anything because when you rig your character you put l and r on your rigs and that way it will work fine but how it does it let me go to data table detail in here if you go to mirror find replace expression okay this is where the magic happens so for example the find expression will be r underscore and will be replaced with the whatever that has prefix of l okay so for example maybe you are using for example left left on your bone name and it will find that for you and if you can't find your expression in here for example right to left left to right and in here again you can see the per prefix and suffix let me show you where it says suffix okay so in here it says if there is a bone with suffix l at the end of that underscore l at the end of that when you want to mirror the animation just change it to uh, that bone name with suffix underscore r okay so that's how you can add another expression you can just click in add element go down you can see it add another element in here and you can do whatever you want or your own um, naming convic uh, convention right so i don't want to do that so let's just delete this it's all right with this just put underscore r and underscore l for right side and left side okay next is the axis of the mirroring so for example the human body has right side and left side but there is some character that it needs to be mirrored at uh, y uh, axis right so if your character has uh, is mirrored at y axis just change this mirror axis to y next the skeleton that we select by default and this two is not that important just have this and make sure that all of the row name name and mirrored name is correct and save and know that you save it you have the mirror data table that you need for mirroring your animation so next step is to right click in here at and go to animation and in here create a animation blueprint and this animation blueprint is a lot important i know that and i will create a lot of videos just about this animation blueprint and this is just an entry to this animation blueprint and all the cool animations will happen in this animation blueprint so first of all it says which skeletal mesh you want to create animation blueprint for i want to create for this dragon skeleton let create and it will create that i want to call it a b for animation blueprint i want to call it dragon okay and know that we have this double click on it and in here first of all you can see the output pose okay so for example this dragon we have some animation for that so for example jog left right so if you connect this to here and compile you can see that animation right so let's just delete this and show you another one so for example this one if you connect this and compile you can see the animation works fine and i will talk about this anime anime graph a lot don't worry about it when i create our own character that will be playable for example if you hit w on your keyboard your character should go forward right it will go forward when you create your own character and you add some note to it some add movement note to it and i will show you i did show it before but i will show it again in the next video and with that we use all of this animation like walking running and all of that with blended spaces and all of that don't worry about it this video is just about mirroring and in here you can see the shotgun fire animation is at the right hand and all you need to do is to drag from here to here and say mirror okay easy right just search for mirror click on here and it will cre create this mirror with mdt dragon the one that we create the let me show you this one the mirror data table that is very much important so we use that table to uh, mirror our animation okay so if we compile now you can see it use its left hand to shot that shotgun right fire that shotgun and if we uncheck this and compile it go to the right right <laughs> So now for showing you better, I want to create a variable of type of boolean and I want to call it is mirrored, okay? 
like this and i want to get that variable and connect it to here so in runtime we can change this to mirror or animation in whatever blueprint or c++ class that you have you can access this is mirrored and with that if you set it it will be mirrored right so if i click in here you can see it will be mirrored if i uncheck this you can see it works fine right but there are some property to make it even cooler. So let me bring this out a little bit. If you click in here, you can see there is a blend time. Okay. So for example, I want to put it at one second. So from left hand to right hand, I want to take to one second to uh, transition between these two animations. But if we compile this and again, click on this uh, Boolean variable in here and check it, you can see instantly go to the left hand again. So what is the problem? We choose one second for it for this why it's happening like this because you didn't add a node that it need just search for inner inertialization okay just search for this and add it in this between the output pose and this mirror table in here okay and no if we click if we compile and click on our variable in here and check it you can see it take one second to go from right hand to the left hand right and we can change that value in here for example 2.5 to make it a little bit realistic right again let's just change that and i think that's better now right so there is another property in here if you click on this mirror with ndt dragon you can see there is a reset child what it means you can see this animation is playing in here from start to end and it loop again right if we tell it to reset the child when it's when it changed the mirroring let me compile and show you and watch this watch it watch the plane of this know that we click on this reset child whenever we change this is mirrored variable it will start from beginning and it will reset the animation you can see it right and if you go again and tell it to not reset the child and compile and again uncheck this you can see it continue playing that animation and you can see it clearly right everything cool so in this video you did learn what is the animation blueprint and how you can mirror your animations in the future videos i want to show you how you can find whatever animation that you have in internet site like mixemo or there is a lot of um, sites that has animation on them and you can use it in your project and after that we go more in detail in animation blueprint everything about it so you can create a cool looking game with cool animations so that was it guys for this video i hope you like it and please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye